Dear friends, I am B Singh, founder and director, Made Easy and Next Eyes, and you are watching UPSC Engineering Services 2023 Topper Stock. Today, with me is Mr. G Sai Charan. He has secured All India Rank 1 in ESC 2023. Yes, he is Topper of Electronics and Telecommunication Branch. Last year in 2022 exam also, he secured All India Rank 19. And as of now, he is working in Central Power Engineering Service. He did his B.Tech from IIT Khadakpur. And he secured All India Rank 115 in Gate 21 and 114 in Gate 22. He has been a very hardworking and sincere candidate. He comes from Vijayawada, Andhra Pradesh. His father is professor in Mechanical Engineering Department in NRI Institute of Technology. His journey of UPSC preparation must have certain angles which can be useful to the freshers, those who are going to write. The purpose of the topper stock is to bring out those strategies and those plannings of the toppers which can help to the freshers and those who are going to prepare in upcoming years. In this discussion, we will try to understand the the secrets of success of the G Sai Charan. So, G Sai Charan, my question from you is that what is the right time to begin the preparation of UPSC? Sir, it can be as early as possible if I have to say. But uh, usually, if we can manage the time along with our engineering subjects during our college time, along with our academics, that would be great. So, usually, typically, you can say second or third year is the best time to start. But though I say I have started late, uh, almost at the end of my final year, in fact. So I had to struggle a bit, but uh, maybe I have to say thanks to COVID, <laughs> I was able to, uh, I was able to utilize my time more efficiently, along with my academics sitting at home, uh, preparing for engineering services and gate simultaneously as well. It was possible for me. So gate and ESC, together you have started. Yes, sir. So you're First aim was gate or it was simultaneously preparing jointly for both? Yes sir, it was my parallel approach I followed. I have not uh, concentrated as such for gate or engineering services. I just wanted to clear my concepts and attempt whatever examination that is at my hand. So okay. it was a parallel approach that I followed, not concentrating on one particular examination as such. Okay. So what is difference in last year's selection and this year's selection in terms of performance? What different you did this time? Sir, basically I can say it's only the revision that mattered to me mostly and also the practice. So I had to, I need not start afresh. The concepts, the fundamentals, everything were already there within me. But only I needed was a more revision and a strategic revision as such. Not just blindly following some concepts, not just a... Uh, watching videos or uh, just going here and there, I knew what uh, what needs to be done. So, and I observed that my marks in the mains were relatively less. So, I had to improve my writing skills as such. So, last year marks were relatively less in mains. Yes, sir. So, you focused on the answer writing. Answer writing main, skills mains. I had to improve, sir. Yes. Okay. But technical is more about the accuracy and concepts. Yes, sir. And answer writing means practicing questions, uh, solving more difficult questions. What do you mean by exactly answer writing? So, the previous year questions are the basis basically. Hmm. So, I uh, not once but twice, I solved the previous year questions twice so that I am uh, again sure of uh, the typical questions that they ask. And we know that usually in mains, they do not deviate from the concepts that are being asked. It's only the uh, way of questioning and the numericals that differ but not different concepts they do not go into corner concepts as such so we can estimate or <coughs> expect what kind of questions that can be asked you you have cracked gate also 21 and 22 with all yes, India rank 115 and 114 yes sir what difference you see in gate and ies exam so one thing we can say is that uh, uh, engineering services syllabus is vast that is uh, right. no question about it and uh, what needs uh, what needs to be an engineering services officer is that we need a lot of perseverance and patience is key aspect because uh, it is a three stage exam which takes almost one and a half year 
to be completed from the date of filling your application but as such gate gate examination is more technically oriented and we do, we do not have a non technical paper like in the engineering services prelims uh, so it is more technically oriented and just a one day exam which whose result will be out in a month so and what about the difficulty level of the questions in esc as compared to gate so we can say uh, the gate questions are typically more on the difficult uh, difficult side uh, compared to engineering services prelims questions prelims questions exactly sir objective but then you also need a strong fundamentals uh, to answer the mains mains uh, questions it also needs your uh, uh, how you uh, uh, how you phrase your answers especially in the theoretical questions in the in the engineering services exam and the numericals also are uh, more or less uh, oriented towards the gate examination as well uh, and uh, interview is again a whole different uh, thing compared to gate sir in electronics especially there is wide big difference between gate syllabus and esc syllabus in tech also as well as non tech is entirely different so what was your approach for the non gate syllabus non non gate syllabus which non. was not in gate but it is in ies like advanced electronics advanced communications yes, then basic electrical computer fundamentals material science and then certain sections of gs including the environment yes. um, project management ethics current affairs and so on what you said is totally true sir i accept so let me talk about the technical part first so like you said we have uh, many other uh, subjects compared to gate like you told advanced communication or advanced electronics computer organization architecture material science etc uh, one thing i have to say is uh, i have already done a course on computer organization architecture during my college days so that was helpful for me and uh, also advanced communication i have done a micro specialization in, in embedded wireless systems at iit karakpur so a uh, few concepts like microwave and optical communication were already covered for me thankfully so i had to focus more on mobile communications advanced electronics vlsi especially which is not covered in gate and then uh, material science also uh, mainly my resources were uh, videos or the uh, previous toppers uh, notes especially these were helpful for me sir because you don't find much of a resources material for these kind of non gate syllabus that you told right, right. exactly there are limited materials limited sources yes sir limited sources uh, i mean it was hard to find uh, resources for me for these subjects uh, and also electrical basic electrical engineering is also one more uh, difficult thing but uh, i would i would not suggest everyone to leave it out but uh, i have uh, left so out you, uh, you left it not completely but uh, transformers concepts i have done but uh, not much of induction dc machines uh since the weightage is also less i just took the chance but i would not suggest everyone to do that sir okay and uh, interview you gave last year as well as this year in yes, two different uh, interviews which you faced in upsc yes, what difference you noticed difference in terms of questions last year sir. and this year how these two were different okay uh one basic uh, difference i observed was last year uh, it was morely technical oriented sir mostly uh, though i was still working at uh, hindustan aeronautics limited at that point of time uh, mostly my interview went towards the technical side so most uh, conceptual questions everything mostly the chairperson did not ask the questions much so the technical team took over uh, the questions whereas this time uh, the chairperson uh, knew that i have joined the engineering services through last year selection and uh, i mean he was uh, uh, he was asking like why are you reappearing again and what are you aspiring for uh, and uh, there were some typical questions like uh, hr questions we can say uh, asking like why do you wish to join government services uh, or um, do you want everything to be privatized or do you want uh, each and every company to be under the control of government what do you uh, what do you what, what is your say in it and also some situation based questions like uh, uh, assuming that i have become a telecommunication service officer and then uh, uh, like many employees workers working under me 
so the question so this was went jointly some experience job experience and partially technical yes sir you can say 50 50 50 50 type technical and uh, good personal questions right and how you made your notes because you referred so many sources from the different different places yes, you sir. made your own notes prepared and compiled or uh, you made any short notes sir i made my own notes and short notes as such uh, i do not believe in short notes theory uh, and uh, for my material previously the initially what i had was what i prepared from my uh, academics at iit karakpur those were the basics fundamentals and i believe the fundamentals if they are strong we can uh, reach the next levels easily so and then i i i went through different uh, lectures on youtube open source uh, platforms and then also like i told uh, um, notebooks of uh, previous year stoppers etc uh, to fill in the gap of this non uh, non gate syllabus etc good and how was your uh, last one month strategy before the examination after gate and before the esc in 2021 sir yeah no this time for once you complete your gate examination and then you are writing the ies so last year you wrote gate this year you have not written gate 2023 yes sir so that 30 25 days 15 days what was your strategy in last moment uh gate uh, if i have to say i mean focused only in 2021 2022 as such uh, it was just attempting a few mock tests uh, just before the exam Uh, but not dedicatedly preparing for that examination uh, because my focus was mostly on engineering services since i could not get selected in the last year and i really wanted to uh, mm. make it a, make it through this time okay so like i told uh, my focus was mostly towards engineering services and uh, i prepared accordingly and uh, i did not uh, prepare much for in- gate good So, uh, dear friends, this was the discussion with Mr. G. Sai Chiran. He has secured all India rank one in electronics and telecommunication. He was selected last year and this year. He has done it twice and he has done twice in the gate. And according to him, gate and ESC both are overlapping in technical syllabus. One can prepare for the both exam parallelly, but definitely for electronics, the syllabus is different, and you have to put ex- extra efforts in. Certain sections of the non-tech and certain GS sections. So, G. Sajjan, would you like to share anything else, or would we wind up this discussion today? Yes, sir. Let me yeah. give a future advice to the future aspirants also. So, uh, um, what I can say one thing is uh, there is no substitute to hard work. Uh, so, and also keep yourself motivated because there is every time, every <coughs> day we face a lot of depression this time, uh, this time around. so i would suggest people to stay away from these kind of negativity as such uh, because the opportunities are definitely there for you and you can definitely grab it right so thank you very much watching this video i hope the, uh, these insights will help you in your planning all the best and congratulations once again thank, thank you, you very much for joining in the top of stock thank you sir